Champion, thank the Maker you've come. What's happened? First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric, but the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Then take me to them, before that happens. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. Why are you fighting again? You came. This does not involve you, champion. I called her here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The Champion knows better than anyone how deep the Circle's corruption goes. I must find the Source. There must be some way we can work this out. What other option do we have? Tell me, Champion. That you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. You can't use the actions of some to condemn them all. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminal, while those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The Circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half-measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I removed the chance of compromise, because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the Circle is to be executed. Immediately! The Circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her! Help us stop this madness! And I call on you to keep order. After what just occurred, you cannot deny what must be done. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Was that... why you needed me to distract the Grand Cleric? You were...
part of this? If you knew what I was doing, you would have felt honor bound to stop me. I couldn't take that chance. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall. The world needs to see. Elthina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now, or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You're a murderer. The Grand Cleric, the Mages, their blood is on your hands. I know. It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. I won't let her slaughter all of you. But what of Anders? I knew I could count on you. Hawk, if you do this, I don't know if I can follow. The mages here would become magisters if they could. Do not let them. You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Ah, oh, shit. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Isabella? Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I'm not helping you, Meredith. Thank the Maker. It is a mistake, but I won't abandon you. I see what you are trying to do, and my place... is with you. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! So it's come to this. I don't know if we can win this war, champion, but... Thank you. I will leave your... friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. Did that spirit tell you to do this? No. When we merged, he ceased to be. We are one now. I can no more ignore the injustice of the Circle than he could. I might have understood if you'd only told me. You condone this. The brutal death of an innocent woman of faith, someone you knew, who trusted you. I wanted to tell you, but what if you stopped me? Or worse, what if you wanted to help? I couldn't let you do that. The world needs to see this. Then we can all stop pretending the circle is a solution. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. Opinions? If I'd been in that chantry today, would you be waffling? You know what must be done. Bold plan. Well, I thought so. He wants to die. Kill him and be done with it. Belief is no excuse. Sincerity does not justify this. He should come with us. Do what he can to put things right. I think I'm sick of mages and Templars. Whatever you do, just do it. Help me defend the mages. You mean... stay with you? I didn't think you'd let me. But if you do, I'll fight the Templars. Damned right I will. No! You cannot let this abomination walk free. He dies, or I am returning to Starkhaven. And I will bring such an army with me on my return, that there'll be nothing left of Kirkwall for these Maleficarum to rule. Do not interfere, Sebastian. I thought I knew you, Hawk. I gave up on Starkhaven to serve the Maker, but he has turned his back on Kirkwall for harboring heretics like this. I swear to you, I will come back and find your precious Anders. I will teach him what true justice is. Thank you for my life. I'll try not to make such a mess of it this time. How invigorating. 
We'd all best get to the gallows. And quick. It's going to be quite a show. Stay where you are! There is no escape! Leave me alone. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you. You've survived, thank the Maker! We must... And here you are! Let us speak, Meredith, before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect! I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. We can still prevent this, before you both tear Kirkwall apart. You heard her. She's wanted this all along. I'm disappointed in you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. Sometimes, you have to do the right thing. I'll take your word on that. Then let me say one more thing, in case it's the last. You're a good friend. The only one I've ever had. It will be an honor to fight at your side. Now the battle awaits us. Navia Lerno Victoria. Only the living know victory. Fight well. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. With luck, well, let's just say we need some luck. I never wanted to mess up your life like this. I think it's something that just sort of happens to friends of yours. Hawk, it's worth it. Let's bust some heads like the old days. With Carver, I never got the chance to say goodbye. I don't want that to happen this time. Sister, if we... if we don't make it, just know that I love you. All these years, I've tried to understand what Andraste saw. Why she had to lock us up. But my powers come from the Maker. And I just cannot believe that is his will. Of all we did, if you could change one thing, what would it be? I'd have thrown Carver on his stupid ass so he wouldn't attack that ogre. He was always such a show-off. Everything else? The Maker is wiser than we can be in a lifetime. Who am I to question his plan? 
Being in the Circle must have been hard. Do you ever wish you'd come on the expedition? If I had, who knows where I'd be now. I always thought it was hard growing up outside the Circle, always on the run. I never realized how free I was. Maybe it took being locked in the gallows to understand my place in this world. To see the need to free my fellow mages. I couldn't ask for a better sister. May the Maker bless you and keep you, sister. I wish Mother had lived long enough to see this. I hope she's found peace. I should have trusted you. Even with all we've shared, I never thought you'd spare my life. If we live through this, you know I'll be hunted. No one in Kirkwall will offer me mercy. But... If you would join me, I'd rather be on the run with you than safe with anyone else. Then we will be fugitives together. We will fight for a world where our children can be born mages and free. Ten years, a hundred years from now, someone like me will love someone like you. And there will be no Templars to tear them apart. May the Maker bring us victory, or everything else is meaningless. Nervous Hawk? I know we have to do this, but I don't want to lose people. But what a way to go. A heroic sacrifice for the good of Kirkwall? There are worse endings, you know. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I'm not sure we should be doing this. Helping dangerous people run amok. But I'm with you. Whatever I'm going into, it's good to have you along. It has been an honor, Hawk. What do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet Destiny? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or there's more to do, or... Does all this feel like a dream to you, too? I can't believe it's come to this. You'll get us through this. You always do. Hawk, before we go... I... Meryl, whatever happens, I'm proud to have known you. You don't have to be here if you don't want to be. And if I didn't want to be here, I wouldn't be. Your life would have been easier if you had just cut me out of it. But you stood by me. You defied the Canari and fought their Arashok for me, even after I betrayed you. You came back to help me. Defending you from the Arashok was the least I could do. And don't think I'm not grateful for that. I know I don't exactly inspire confidence, but I swear, I'm going to come through for you this time. When you look for me, I'll be fighting at your side. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. We will defend you as best we can. I am relieved to hear it. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. I want to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. Meryl, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Varric, stay out of sight, and use your crossbow. Bianca's ready and willing. Bethany, keep out of the fray, and use your spells at a distance. I'll try. We're cornered. The Templars know it. You know it. But this is bigger than their hate. Their fear. They've come to take your lives. And we are saying no. We didn't want this. But sometimes... Sometimes you just have to stand. Champion, it is beginning.
Drownus his infants. Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? First Enchanter, we need to. I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. This is not helping, First Enchanter. I am tired of helping as well. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. Meredith expects blood magic? Then I will give it to her. Make her help us all. We are, champion. At long last. You'll pay for what you've done here. I will be rewarded for what I've done here. In this world and the next. I have done nothing but perform my duty. What happens to you now is your own doing. You are no mage. But in supporting them, you've elected to share their fate. Knight Commander. I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path. You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartran's mind in the end. He was weak. Whereas I am not. All of you! I want her dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds, to turn you against me! But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's clearly lost her mind. are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter Take her. your servant begs you for the strength to defeat this evil <laughs>
champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. She had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills, and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the Champion's side. Well, all of us except for Anders. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if, at the core, remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the Circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the Champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the Circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the Champion is, you must tell me. She is a hero. A woman that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The Champion could stop this madness before it's too late. She may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the Champion dead? Though, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. <laughs>